Okay, so we're talking about low cover. Uh, low cover in precast concrete or poured in situ concrete beams, that sort of thing. Doug, can you run through uh, what the issue is and how we remediate it? Sure, sure thing. Yeah, so low cover refers to um, where the concrete cover to reinforcing steel is less than it's been designed to be. So generally in a concrete structure, um, the code or an engineer will specify that it needs to be, you know, a certain number of millimetres, could be 30, it could be 40, 50, whatever it is, um, of cover concrete to the steel. Now this um, predominantly is because it protects the reinforcing steel um, from corrosion from the um, atmosphere or other contaminants. Now what happens if this, um, if this cover is less than it's prescribed? It can affect the service life of a structure, um, meaning that, you know, maintenance and remediation is going to be needed sooner than is, um, you know, is originally designed for. Um, but we do have a solution. Martin, do you want to run through that? Yeah, thank you, Doug. So, Doug, the way we go about it, if you are short on cover, you put your measuring tool on, you've found your two or three mils short, five or ten mils even, um, or more. We spray a colloidal silica across the surface, it penetrates in, it forms a hydrogel uh, deep within the concrete, um, well past the cover, uh, the first layer of steel. It uh, waterproofs, renders that cover of concrete cover um, totally impermeable to uh, moisture and vapour and therefore um, regardless of the um, missing cover if you like, yeah, regardless of the thickness, um, the concrete durability is restored. So as a rule of thumb, we can double the thickness of uh, the concrete cover you have. So say you have 45 mil, um, it was designed, um, the engineer called for 55 mil. Um, waterproof that 45 mil you do have, and we're well and truly giving you the uh, durability that you would have had at 55. What kind of warranties do we offer with this duck? Yeah, so it is, it is very uh, project specific. Um, obviously it's a fairly unique situation, so everything needs to be taken into consideration. So the environment, the average coverage readings across the structure, that type of thing, how, how extensive it is. Um, and we obviously have some minimums around the cover tolerances, um, but generally we can work towards getting that, restoring that durability back to the intended service life. Another point I'd like to make um, just briefly, Martin, is that this is not about um, designing a concrete structure with less than um, your standard cover. So this is only for when you want when it um, happens by accident per se. So it's it's not something that we would go ahead and say, okay, let's halve the concrete cover that you were going to have and put the hydrogel on. It's more that if it happens during construction, um, there is a, a solution to fix it. The other point is it's a, 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 a non-invasive remediation, so it leaves a totally compatible surface for anything you're wanting to do later, um, whether that's Andrew graffiti coatings. Um, it's non-visual, so you can't tell, so if you treat one side of the beam, it doesn't look different to the other side of the beam. If you treat some sound panel um, sound walls, you don't treat them all, you're not going to be able to tell, So, um, which is quite an advancement on some of the traditional remediation methods. Saving the world, one concrete structure at a time. Markham, adding life to concrete.